Welcome to another day of Smoking with Joe, where we make smoking food easy the Bradley way. Now, this particular video is going to be geared to anyone new to smoking food. I'm going to show you probably the simplest recipe I know for smoking sockeye salmon. And the final result will be delicious, I promise. And just so you know, if you don't have salmon, this will work for trout and steelhead as well. We're going to use the hot smoke method, meaning the salmon will be cooked as well as smoked. And this is different than cold smoking, if you've even heard of that process. But I'll talk more about cold smoking in another video. The first step will be curing the salmon. I'm going to use three common ingredients. Salt, pepper, and demerara sugar. That's right, it's, it's all you need and really the pepper is optional. We'll start with the salt. And a common question is, how much do I need? Well, a good rule of thumb is two tablespoons per five pounds of meat. Each filet weighs about a pound and a half. So I'll start with a tablespoon of salt. It's a good baseline, it's good to measure, and you have a great idea of exactly how much salt you're using. You know, and you can add more or cut back depending on your preference, but you need a baseline to work from. Okay, so, tablespoon. So I've got my tablespoon and I'm just going to sprinkle it onto the fillet and a little heavier where the, the salmon is thicker and a little lighter where the salmon is thinner. It's pretty straight ahead. It's not like we're packing the fish in salt so it won't spoil on an epic three month journey to the new world in an old sailing ship with no refrigeration. I mean, we have fridges and freezers now that keep our food from spoiling. So you don't need to just pound the salt on here. I've got the first filet salted, but I'm not going to have enough on the second one. So tablespoon number two. All right. That's all I would use. Now I'm going to add the Demerara sugar. You can see my Demerara sugar got a little crunchy in the container here. And here's an interesting concept. Both the sugar and salt are working to preserve the uh, salmon. They work by drawing the water out of the salmon or any food, really, with a high water content. And basically, this ruins the habitat for the undesirable bacteria that will spoil your food. There's actually a video coming out soon with uh, Wade Bradley, the owner of Bradley Smokers, and he's going to explain exactly how brining works with smoking to preserve your food. So, you know, keep an eye out or just sign up to the BradleySmoker.com newsletter so you don't miss it. All right, so I'm gonna add a little pinch of pepper now. You know, not too much. That's it, pretty simple, right? Uh, too simple, actually. I'm, I'm gonna change it up a bit, just because, you know, I've got this set up as a base, and I almost always use this on fish, but I'd like to actually see what just onion powder is going to taste like. So I'll sprinkle a little bit of onion powder on my filet. I want to give it that slightly different umami or savory flavor and just use it as a comparison of something. I've got one made where I've used garlic, I've used different flavors and you know eventually you'll use exactly what you prefer. So I'm just gonna put a taste on it and see how she goes. And that's it. There we go. This is ready to sit in the fridge now and it'll melt all the salt, melt all the sugar, and it'll turn into a liquid around it. But we'll see that in a bit. So catch you then. So it's been about 24 hours since I put the fillets in the fridge. You notice all the liquid? This is the uh, moisture, the salt and sugar pulled out of the salmon. I'm just going to lay them down on a paper towel here because 
I'm going to blot them a little bit dry. Don't want them dripping all over the place. I'm not going to dry them off completely. Smoke actually sticks to a moist surface better than a dry one, so we do want a nice even smoke. And I'll just put them onto the uh, rack. And I'll see you out at the smoker. So here we are at my Bradley P10 Professional Smoker. I'm just going to throw these inside the uh, smoker and I'll show you the exact settings I like to use for a perfect smoke every time. I use nine alder biscuits. That gives me three hours of smoking. I set the temperature to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. I set the timer to three hours of cook time and I set the smoker to three hours. That's it. Okay, it's been about three hours. I can see that the uh, smoker is automatically shut down probably 20 minutes ago. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, perfect as usual. There you go. Salmon smoked the Bradley way. <laughs>